What's up? Said survival guide signing in. What we have here, trash cans. What we have here is a failure to fish with out live bait. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go to a small little pond right here in the area. My, I thought my head was crooked for days, but it's your glasses. So uh, I've been adjusting them and fixing them. I was like breathing on them real hard, like uh, didn't work. What it do? All right. So what we're gonna do today is fish without live bait, and I'm gonna be honest. I have one hour. This is the one hour fishing challenge. I have a new thingy. Look at these. They look so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this place that's literally five minutes from where I live. They have a fountain, you can fish. It's all cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what I can do with no live bait in an hour. All right, and if you guys wanna join me for the entire time, make sure and head over to Patreon because I'll put the full unedited video on Patreon and you guys are gonna get the edited video of all the uh, the catches, the fails, and all that good stuff. So, I'll see you in just a minute. All right, hopefully you can see me, but I don't really know. So what I'm gonna do, what's up next? Is, I'm gonna take a couple of, This, this is my favorite. What is happening? Okay. This, my favorite. And the thing about it is, is I really don't know anything about fishing. I've fished my whole life. But that doesn't mean that I've done it accurately. So in order to improve the quality of content and improve my ability to survive, I think it's imperative that I learned to fish with uh, without live bait. Mm. All right, I have got 56 minutes. Can I catch a fish? Is to stay at the front there. There's got to be some fish in here. Oh, piece of cloth. Look at this failure. Ha! Ah! I just want to catch a fish. Look at this. There's got to be something here. Let's see if there's anything in here big enough to try to bite this dude. I don't think, I don't know, because this, the pond itself might have some pretty big stuff in it. Look, there's a Oh, and I cast right over it too. You see it? Oh no. Look, I'll chop that whole limb off. All right, we got 35 minutes, guys. All right. What is this thing? Oh. All right. So, the question is can we get down here in this mud? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Let's see if 
there's anything coming at the pops right here. Feels good casting out in open water though, I'll tell you that. Ha! Ah, son of a gun. It's gonna break. This little bee line. Alright. I've got more of those. So what we're gonna do for now, is just wrap it around right there. Yep, all right. I guess we're gonna choose a different place because this guy right here is gonna end up going deep. And I don't know if I can cast him out there over those rocks and then get him back. So, Let's try over there. As long as we can stay close to the truck, that means I get more time to fish. Little bird down there in a tree. It's just that right there just looks like the perfect place to catch something. Just try to reel it in slow and hope for something. Hey, I've caught a leaf almost every time. That's where it's at. If you can catch foliage, you're on a roll. <sighs> See all the other places that can be fished? Look, I'm catching something every time. That's gross. Let's try over there. Oh my God. My ears hurt so bad, guys. Something, is that something messing with me? Is that a rocks? How deep does this thing go? Whoa. 
The water's moving good. Ah, this thing's pretty. Ooh. It almost looks created by an animal. Come on. Yeah. Make sure let me get it back. I'm gonna catch something today. This has gotta be deep. something this Zebco Rome is uh, has given me a hard time guys I've had it for almost a year and it has just been a very difficult is that a snake look at this I caught that you know Now it's not on the bottom no more though. This Zebco Roam really has been like a very difficult rod to to use like ever since I got it. I take that little thing on it right there so that I would have something to put my hook on. Could be user error though. I mean, as you can tell, I'm not a master fisherman. <laughs> Even though I'm at this pond. See, I can fish anywhere at it. I'm pretty sure it's allowed. It's allowed to fish anywhere. Unless that guy out there, he's gonna come down here. He just left the gym. He's gonna come down here and be like, Ugh, listen here, young man. You know fish here. This only for old people walking. Only old people walking here. And then it turns into an anime. And we, we fight across the water. Is that something I'm trying to... I think it's the brush stuff at the bottom. But as long as I'm getting through it, I think it's okay. Because fish swim through brush stuff, right? And if I can help, if I clean all the stuff up out of this area, look, just one piece at a time. I'm telling you, look, now that's going to float away and it's no longer going to be stuck on the bottom. You know what I mean? I hear something happening in the tube. Look, one piece at a time, I'm telling you. All right. This is where we're at in life. This is one spot. When I can come back here, I'll make sure and Go over there, maybe fish with some worms. I feel like there's there's something here. There's got to be something here.
Look at that one. Every time. So what is this plant? Is this is this seaweed? Is that what this is? Bottom of the bottom of the Does that live there? What can I do with that? It smells awful. There we go. You know, I haven't even seen any fish. Is it too cold? Like, I feel like this thing's going pretty deep. Is it jacked up? What do we got going on here? We got a hook caught. It's no good. It was fighting me the whole way. <laughs> like I caught something. But it didn't. Is this thing messed up too? No. This Sipco Rome, I'm telling you, has not been the best. I'm not seeing any fish jumping or anything. You know, and I don't even care to uh, continue catching the brush stuff at the bottom if I get a fish eventually. I wonder if I can bring my kayak out here. And then walk around and see if there's any signs that say no boats. No kayaking. No yak. No yak bag, yo. All right, we'll see what time it is. Holy she. Whoo. 12.08. All right. Holy crap. I got like 15 minutes. I got 10 or 15 minutes, guys. Let's get something. Come on. Something not brush related. I know I'm limiting myself to one spot, but important things have to happen today. Come on. You know you want it, guys. I know you're chilling on the bottom. You've seen this thing run by your dome 15, 16 times. Your grill's starting to ache. You're starting to want something so bad that this little green guy that keeps taking all your house pieces has got something going on and you need to be about it about it this ain't wwe this ain't wcw this is real life this is pond life you know i don't even know if i'm using the right stuff like i grabbed something out of my tackle box because i don't feel like i had enough time in order to use my tackle box several times is this is a fish or was it rush See, just let me get one. Just let, I'm gonna clear this whole area out of brush. Look, all the little foliage stuff, gone. No more. Aha! So maybe if I just, I don't know what it is. Look, there's a turtle. Oh, he just went down. Look, I'm gonna cast over there. Come on. Come on, bottom grabber. Little bottom grabber. There's a duck. 
Duck, you know where the food's at? There's a turtle again. You see him right below the duck? Can you see him? caught up because of our goofy tiger wood swing there all right we got like five more casts and then we gotta go come on there's got to be something chilling over here on the bottom got to be we've got worms in the fridge again again Duck over here talking. I wonder what he's saying. Where the fish at, bro? Or sis? I guess because I'm a dude, I always assume that animals that come near me are bros. Like, what up, bro? Chill out, wolf dog. Yeah, bro. Because you got, I mean, the majority is it's 50 50 chance, right? The 50 50 chance that it is a female or a male. So when I say, come on, little fishy fishy, it's weird because I just say little fishy fishy. I don't say, come on, dude. Come on, dude. All right. All right, so I've effectively caught something every single cast. Effectively, <laughs> something over there. I'm about to cast on it. You see it? I want to see what it is. Come on. We're about to cast over there on it. Is that a snake or something? What is it? It's weird because I'm watching the water and I think that's something because it's going across the pond but the wind is blowing in two different directions right now it's blowing at my backside over there towards that bird towards that stick and then the wind is blowing over here from the left side so I guess maybe this hill behind me is splitting the wind so I'm casting with the wind so that's got to be good all right I've effective I've caught something every cast like it's not clickbait. I've caught something every single cast. <sighs> this is it guys. If I don't get one on this one, I gotta go. Come on. 
You know, and it's weird too, guys, because this is like a, the, the one hour challenge, you know? One hour fi fishing challenge, and I've, so far I've caught something every single cast. Not living. All right, guys. Let's go. Audi 5000. Oh. All right. Let's get back over here to the truck. Is there any fish at all? Like, do you see any fish? There's a mattress. See the frame on my truck broke. See it? Crazy. Mm. All right, guys. Well, one hour challenge was a bust. But you got to do it. I mean, this was an experience. It took one hour. Next time, I probably won't use that rattle trap. I think is what it's called. And I will have more time. Even if I choose to do one hour every day at this pond. That's, that's experience. I could go all the way around every part of the pond. And it would be learning what i don't know and i watch a lot of videos and stuff but i think i watch more of the entertaining videos rather than the knowledgeable ones like i watch catfish and carp and he is probably the best one when it, for me to watch when it comes to knowledgeable for catfish and carp i watch him catch several other fish him and his boys but i've done a ton of catfishing i know how to catfish if you guys want the next one will be a catfish. I caught two catfish in the last video. It's not, a, it's not an issue to catch catfish. What the issue is, I need to learn how to catch other fish. I need to learn to use things other than live bait. And this was a one hour experience that helped me get better at that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't care, go take a look at the Patreon. Because the more patrons I get the more chances I have to do this and I post the full videos I cut out certain small pieces and things maybe when I try, when I cuss and stuff I might cut some things like that out but the full videos are on patreon you get to see them make sure and check it out this is Sid survival guide